Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this one of tutorial, we are trying to build a very simple application, a CLI, with all that you have learned in click, right? So we'll be building an application called NLP5. So NLP5 is an app that is going to be used to do natural language processing, which is a simple CLI. So let's see how it's going to do. So if I go with Python, NLP5 underscore CLI.py, info is going to give me this particular illustration. So let's see an example of what it can do. So I go with help, that's just help, I'm going to list all the commands and then all the options that you can use with this particular CLI. Perfect, so that's listed all the particular stuff you can do. So it's having the various options and then the command. So we can do entity extraction, can do info, for the info it does, can just do part of speech, tag, read a file, sentiment, tokens and everything. But let's try an example of them. So I'm just going to go with the normal stuff. And then I'm going to go with tokens which supply a particular tab. So let's say he likes reading. It says he likes reading and then code, something like this, right? So if I write this like this, I can just go straight away with this, or I can specify the particular token type. So token type, whatever kind of token type I want. So what I want, where tokens or sentence token. So I go to go with word. Perfect. So that it's going to give us your test, and then he likes reading, right? So the same thing. I can also work on it in sentiment in case I want to get a sentiment from this. I can also use the same option of sentiment. I can spell sentiment. Sentiment. And it's going to analyze it and give us the particular polarity. Perfect. So your test was this. And then the sentiment, the polarity is 0 0.0, the sensitivity is 0 0.0. So let's change the sentence and let's give it a different sentence. So let's give it a sample, something simple like, say, Jesse works in UK, right? Something like this. So as a developer. So if I, I give this particular stuff and then I want to get the entities from this, so I can just go straight away with entities. Entities and it's going to analyze it and then print out for me. Perfect. So it's able to analyze the test for me, then it was able to extract only one entity. I think it could not really recognize it. So that is the app you'll be trying to build. So in case you have a file and you want to also read a file, you can also do something like that. So let's check out, see whether we have some files that we can read. Okay, we don't have files. So let's create a simple file. So it's going to be a cut. Then let's give the name of the file as let's say my test or let's say my new file.txt and let's he likes eating apple. All right, something like this. So, so let's stop this. Perfect. So we have a test. So if it, in case I want to read it, I can also use the same format that I had to read it. So something like this. To read it, it's just going to go with the read file. So read underscore file. Then the name of the file, so my my new file. Then you can supply whatever you want to read. So I want to read to get all the tokens. So tokens. Perfect. So it's able to read it and then list all the tokens for us. The same thing can be done in case you want to do other aspects too. Okay, so now let's see how to build this particular app. Okay, so let's start. So it's going to be this, right? Perfect. So let me position it for. Okay, so I'm going to create a file. And then the name of the file is going to be NLP file, right? So nlpfi.py. Perfect. So what I think that we need to do. So first of all, we need to be able to do tokenization. We need to be able to do, let's say, sentiment analysis, entities. We also need to do something very simple like part of speech tagging and then word analysis. So the word analysis is going to be uh, lima, lima, stop word, and all this stuff. Now let's start. So what are the things we need? So first of all, we need to install pip install click. We need test blob to do our test method sentiment analysis and our tokenization. We also need pi fake let to help us to do our animation. And then finally, we also need to install space, right? Okay. So now let's work on it. So it's going to be our NLP packages and then our core packages, right? Oh, let's put like our core packages. So we need to install import, import not install. Import click 
and then that is it so let's create our place function it's going to be our main function and then this main function will be of the name so nlp nlp5 CLI perfect and then we're going to pass to pass so let's create our if main perfect. so this main here is referring to this right here so yes let's see now let's create our other stuff so what we need to create first of all is that we have to group, make this a group a click group so it's going to be at click dot group to convert the main to group so that you group everything under this main function and then let's create something for our version so this is going to be for our version right in particular version as we so click dot version option then it's going to be for our particular version so version is equal to 0 0.01 for our version 0 0.01 and then the program name so program name is going to be nl fifa perfect so we are going to work with it so nl fifa cli cli perfect so that is the basic stuff we have done so far now let's create our first function to see what it's going to work so it's going to be depth then this is going to be for our token tokens right and then we're going to be doing something with it so for now let's pass it straight away without anything and let's put our click dot command see on the normal system you're supposed to do something like this and because you are grouping every function every of the command sub commands under this main command we're not be using click here using main so this main is referring to this particular main here, right? That is the main stuff. So that's going to be for our main function. So we are grouping everything under that. And then we're going to supply our click dot argument. It is going to take a test. Right? So our path is test here. And then we will be able to echo this particular test that we are receiving. So let's give it a description of whatever thing. So tokenization. With test block test block so before we move on let's try and see what it's going to work so click dot echo then let's echo the test out as test right perfect so let's see what it's going to work so i'll save it and then let's run it from here to run it's just going to go with python then the name of the file nlp5 dot dot pi right so if i go with help now go to list I made something else. Okay, I go back to this. That's why it's, you have to be running it first. Right? So let's run it again. Perfect. So it has given us the NLP file is coming from this, then the version and the help, right? And then the tokens, which is going to be for this particular case. So let's go with the version. And we're going to list the version that we had here 3.1 and then the new one, which is very interesting. So the same thing if I go with our tokens. It's going to be token this is a command so it is going to go to the token right tokens then i'm going to supply the test so hello well this is nlp LP. then it's going to analyze it because hello world this is nlp it's echoing it that means it's receiving whatever test being supplied and working with nlp so now let's see how to add a function of tokens to it so let's see how to do that so uh, first of all i need to import my NLP stuff so is going to be from test blow import test blow right so that's going to be our stuff that we working with so I have to use this particular test blow here so let's make it like this I'm going to call it as a raw test the one that we have not analyzed then I'm going to pass it as test blow then it's going to be as my test and it's coming if it then after that, I'll echo it out. So let's echo it as this format of using a simple format. So let's call it as your test. Your test was something like this. This is going to give us the raw test itself. Dot format. Then the test that we got straight away. Right? The unanalyzed unanalyze test. Perfect. And then the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to go with this for the word tokens the word tokens 
and here you can make it in this format you can make it as final results this is going to be our raw test dot weight right dot weight that is how to do tokens in tokenization with test block it's going to go with dot weights and then if it is sentence dot sentence right that is the basic idea about it okay, perfect so we have something simple like this so here we can just now make it like final result final result right perfect so let's run it and see the same thing we had if we run it here cannot import this block right i think so from test block import test block which goes to b and then this is supposed to be b why does that make it a little mistake <laughs> anyway perfect so that has been able to analyze it the test we had here and then where it tokens right with the tokens perfect so let's add some beautification to it to make it nice so we can add beautification to it by using the circle right on color so circle and then circle so here it's going to be our first circle and then we're going to supply a color so let's be the foreground color of yellow 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 and then this is going to be also of a particular color which is going to be let's give it a color like this foreground fg of green right so that it is really different so green is going to be our result. So if I come back here and I run it again, same stuff. Perfect. See so that one is yellow and one is green. Very nice, right? Perfect. So we have added some beautification to it. That is going to be for our tokens. Okay, perfect. So let's add some stuff to it. Let's add some another option to make sure that we have sentence token and then where to do option. Then click to the option then let's supply a long format for our option particular type token type and then let's call it as dash t right particular so let's give it a help of specify token to, or let's say type of tokenization the type of tokenization can be either word or sentence right that is a particular type of tokenization as applied so you have to pass in our token type here perfect so how do we do that so that means that you need to be able to work it as a if condition right so let's see where we're going to put it so the best way of putting it is going to be like here so you can be you can make it like this so if token type right it's equal to word if token type is equal to word i want you to do something if token type is equal to word i want you to do this particular stuff right if token type is equal to word i want you to do this particular stuff so let's go back to this and then let's make it like let's expand it so here is going to be token type is equal to word right to work tokens as we have here if tokens go to word i want you to do something so it's going to be like this perfect see that has printed it out perfectly right that is something very nice interesting okay. so that is some basic stuff we have done so far if word is called to token i want to do this so let's make it again that in case the word is no token and the word is is something else so else else if the token type is copy the same stuff because it will be the repetition and it can re re refactor it so the best method is to refactor as we go so else if the token is not word but sentence i want you to do sentence right i don't want you to do something i don't want to do this i want to do sentence so let's go with this here and then let's write it here as sentence token sentence token and then this is going to be final results so we have final results here right which is referring to word so let's make it as our raw test here raw test dot sentence 
sentences because that is how to do sentence tokenization with that so perfect so if i save this now and i go with the same that we had here right instead of going with we're talking that this let's make it a sentence which is referring to this our sentence here right if i go with this It's that it gives us a sentence, you're not tokenizing it, it gives the entire sentence. Okay, so that is one one to go. We have been able to work with the sentence. Okay, so we need to be able to make sure that in case nothing is applied, I want you to do something else. So that is going to be else that is in case you don't supply anything, print this particular stuff. In case you don't supply any value, whether it is where token or stuff, I want you to go with the default tokens. So we are done with one, two, three stuff. Okay, perfect. So that is for our token. Now let's work on our sentiment analysis. So to work on our sentiment analysis, this is going to be for our tokenization. Tokenization. And then this is going to be for our sentiment analysis, right? So let's go to sentiment analysis. So for the sentiment analysis, it's going to be like this. Do I put this? It's supposed to be above this. <laughs> Don't worry. So for the sentiment analysis, it's going to be like this. Use the same thing. So we're going to be def sentiment. Then we're going to do whatever you want to do. Then we're going to pass right. Do whatever you want to do. So we need to create a main dot command to group it under the command. So then we need to add an argument of click dot argument. Of a particular test that he is applying. So, test, right? And then let's pass in our test here. Then, after passing the test, you work on it. So, it's going to be like the particular type of sentiment you want to do. So, sentiment analysis with test block. Test block. Perfect. Okay, so let's go with the same thing raw test it's going to be our test block by our test that was applied and the next thing we need to do is to give us our final result so let's go to the final result it's going to be our raw test dot sentiment okay, so we are going to create for our sentiment straight away with test block so we need to echo it out so let's use let me copy this stuff here and then let's echo use it for this Perfect. so we have sentence we're going to play this and then this is going to be our sentiment instead of talking it's going to be sentiment Perfect. so that is something simple so let's run it and see what is going to work so if i go back to our help Now we have sentiment as a command on its own. So let's supply something simple for it. So let's go with sentiment. Then let's say he loves apples. And it's giving us an error. Sentiment object is not callable. So the reason is because we have to do something we have to change this one this is not a function it's not a function it's yeah it's not column because it's not it's an object so perfect the same thing perfect. now you see that i've been able to give us our polarity and our subjectivity that is something very simple you can also be more specific and then specify that if it's polarity i want you to give me only the polarity that is very interesting. So we have need to do two sentiment and then two things. Now let's move on to the next step that we want to do. It's going to be our part to speak tagging, right? So let's call it as part of speech. Parts of speech. So for the part of speech, we're going to function parts of 
speech right so this part of speech and then we're going to go straight away with our pass so let's make it like this so let me copy this one first it's going to be the same thing here copy this then let's paste it here so it's going to be the same thing right perfect so here now we need to be able to work on it so let's keep it Part speech target. So we can use spacey or can use test block, but let's use test block. So I'll just go with the same stuff we had here. This and then just paste it here. So it's going to receive the test and convert it to test block object. Then we can just go with the test itself. Right? dot us part of speech tag perfect right so something simple like this so let's use the same thing that we had here let me expand it so to see copy this then take out the pass go it and this is a test this is a final result which is quite interesting so instead of making it yellow let's change this one from yellow now to something like let's say blue right so that it looks different from the rest so let's change this one from sentiment to part of speech. Part of speech. Perfect. So we have been able to do something nice. Now let's go back to run our help. Perfect. You have see we have our part of speech there. So we can actually run it on something else. So let's run it on our sentence. It last apple and then let's make it as part of speech. Got a got a keyword argument test, right? So let's see why. We have test here. We forgot to pass in this test here. So let's pass it in test. And then let's run it again. Now perfect. See that has been to analyze it. Then that you analyze the part of speech he this that which is very interesting. Right? Just analyze it in a very nice one. So we are done with our part of speech. Now let's move on to our space right the other part of the entity so to work on the entity it's going to be our entities then it's going to be something different so we're just going to use the same thing of def entities then let's list our stuff we'll be doing it's going to be entity recognition record with spacey right so since we are using spacey this is fast, but because of how it is, it can be very slow. It can be slow, right? This is fast, it can be slow. So let's see how to do that. It's going to be the same stuff we had here. So we need to create our main object here, right? So we just pass in this here to group it under our main. Then we'll be passing that. So here we're not be using test blob again, but rather be using spaces. It's going to be raw test, it's going to be NLP. Then our test itself that is coming from space, right? So let's create our NLP object at the top here. So it's going to be import spacey, and then from after importing spacey, we just need to create an NLP object. NLP is going to be spacey dot load here. Yeah, this way it can be very slow. Spacey is vast, but because we are using it in a CLI, it can be slow, slow. Okay, so perfect. Now, for that, we have been able to create our stack, right? So, here. So, let's work on it. So, it's going to be final. Result is going to be, let's create the simplest component to work on it. It's going to be our entity. So, let's make it like this. So, entity dot test for the test for the token itself and entity dot label. For our stuff, 
then for entity in our raw test dot dot ent right so you are going to create a simple stack there to work on it now we need to echo it out so let's use this to echo the entire stack out so let's make it here then instead of being your test yes perfect down here is going to be our entities so let's call it as our named entities and final result perfect right so something simple so if i save it here hope everything works well now let's run it so let's go straight away with something different so we had let's give it a help to see what is happening so far Let help so i had a mistake here as of the entities or i was rushing okay, perfect great test now we have our test here right so now let's run it again. See that the time has changed, right? Because it starts to load into memory from spacey and all of these things. So if you do a better way of making it load faster, <laughs> then let us know. Perfect. So now we see that we have our token sentiment entity, the name entity. This is very interesting. So let's run and see whether it's going to work. So it's going to be entity entities. Then let's supply whatever stuff. So let's say John Obama, <laughs> uh, who was the president of was the president of USA, right? Something like this. So let's see how long we need to. Let's see the analysis. Perfect. Now it has been able to identify that John Obama, right, is a person, and then US is a GP, which is very interesting. So that means that our entity is working in a very nice format. Okay, perfect. So you can also use progress bars to show that it is analyzed. To make it more at least interactive, interactive and more nice. Okay. So that is what we have done so far. Now let's check on our word info. So the word info is going to be something similar because we're using as one as for each species so is going to be entity, it's going to be our word info, right? Which includes our lima and all the other stuff we can do with species. So let's copy it as dev word info. And the button we're going to do that so let's copy the same thing here it's going to be the same stuff then let's give it our word info description and all the other stuff you can do with it right that is what the word info is about so let's see how to do that so we're just going to be using the same stuff we had here with our spacey stuff because we are using spacey here not test block then we're going to pass in all the other stuff so let's let me copy it and paste it okay, perfect so this is going to be our stuff here, right? So it's going to just do the normal stuff of using test token, test tag, test post, part of speech, dependency, lima, shape, whether it's an alphabet or whether it's a stop word, with a list comprehension, right? So this is quite simple to do. Okay, perfect. So that is what it's going to do for now. So we have our raw test, and then we have our all the data. This raw test is going here, right? Perfect. So that's going to be for our wedding for. So let's run that one and then let's see some other stuff that wants to work on it. If I go back to help. Perfect. So we have our wedding for here with our web lima, stop where shape, and all of these things. So we can also use the same stuff we had for our test here. And then we can just go with word info. So where info. It takes some time. See, I noticed a mistake here. Let's correct it before. <laughs> It's supposed to pass in test here, right? <laughs> We're going to pass in that test, so it's going to fail, right? So let's run it again. Perfect. So it has been able to analyze the entire stuff, giving us all these data. But you can actually make it beautiful, right? Design it and make it beautiful. Just this to help us to know that it's coming down. Perfect. So now let's move on to some other stuff. Can say. So all these things that you have been doing so far. They're just reading the file, right? They're not reading the file, we are reading just the test. So how do we use it to read the file? So let's work on working it to read the file. So it's going to be this. Let's call us reading function of read file. Right. So we're going to read a particular test file. So that is the basic idea. Then we're going to pass just like as we did 
but let's give it a description going to be test so perfect so let's add our test at the top here to do that right the same stuff for all of them because we are grouping it under the main format and then here to be able to read the file you need to be able to supply a click type so it's going to be type is going to be a click dot file right there's a click function called click this file that allows us to be able to read a byte file right so that is what we need to be able to allow us to read it so this particular stuff type is called click dot file to allow us to be able to work with out perfect and then let's supply the analysis so we're going to be click dot argument then the argument is going to be of analysis let's make it analysis and let's apply a default right so the default is going to be of it's a word info that's going to be our default value that's just applying so this must be inside stuff like this perfect we need to pass in our test we need to pass in our test here and then our analysis perfect so we have need to do it do with it in a very nice format okay so now let's see how to read it so let's take off this and then let's make it as my test right the test that is coming then i want you to i want to be able to read it so how do i make sure that i'm able to read it i'm just going to do a test that is coming from the top then dot read then we can also decode it so decode then what kind of decoding we are using they are using utf8 so utf underscore dash eight so that's what we're doing right to be able to read it now I want us to be able to do something with it. I want us to be able to work on this particular stuff. So let's go to file test. It's going to be our test block. Test block. Then my test. So that we have to do whatever you want to do. In case you want to do tokens, in case you want to do something else. So then click dot echo. Whatever thing I want to do. But for now, let's click. Let's not do the test block here, right? I'll comment this one out and let's bring print out our test. So, my test. So, that is what we'll be echoing it out now for now, right? Okay, perfect. So, let's see something we can do. So, let's create a simple file. So, my sample.txt, right? We are trying to create a simple file. So, let's paste in something there. Then it's going to be. Hello world, something like that, right? Perfect. So we have a simple file. So to read it, it's going to be help Python read underscore file. Then the name of the file that we have, which was sample test. It was able to run, but it did not show us anything, right? That is the disadvantage for now. So let's see some other stuff. So let's because it doesn't able to show us anything, let's see some stuff we can do. Let's first of all quit the analysis, right? So that's able to see what it's going to do. So let's make it like if our analysis right is equal to let's say tokens. If our analysis is equal to tokens, then I want you to do something else. Then I want you to let's use the tokens here. Remember that we had tokens at the top, right? right? It was here, right? So let's copy that one. So I have to type the entire stuff. If our analysis go to tokens, then I want you to print the test that I'm assuming here, which is going to be my test, right? And then I want you to do something. So what do I want you to do? If that is the case, I want you to be able to do some particular stuff to it. So I want you to take the test itself. So my test, right? Dot words, right? But we cannot use dot words straight away. So the only option is that you're going to use this particular file test that we had here. That is where the file test comes inside. It's going to be file because that is the one we are using test block to do dot words. Right? So this file test is what test block is using to analyze. Let's save it and then let's run it here again. 
let me expand this and then let's see the help perfect you see that the word info is showing here and then we have the read file which is also showing here so if i want to read the file so let's read the same file let's stop it and then let's add the token right so token so that is the name that you are using so if if this particular stuff here is tokens then i want you to do something with it will it give us something empty i, I think the file is empty <laughs> oh the file is empty so let's add something so he loves coding right something like this let's see this file and then let's try it again because the file is empty that's why it's giving us empty. perfect so that's that is working so it's able to read the file it's able to give us the tokenization for that particular stuff which is very interesting so that means that everything is working perfectly so that is how to read a particular file right so you're going to go with type file you see the file you decode it then you do your analysis on that particular file so you can do all those things you have done so far into this particular option okay perfect so that is how to do that now let's add some one last thing to it and move on so it's going to be our info so dev it's going to be our info and then it's going to be as info then let's go with this particular option of particular info right so going to be our info about the app so info about nl yes something just to make it beautiful right we're just going to be styling it so it's going to be f is called so we need piglet so let's go to the top of the file then import piglet so it's going to be from pi piglet import import piglet right, so that is what we're using to do our stuff then when you come here sorry just going to use piglet we're going to supply a particular font that you want to use flaunt font it's going to be slant right there are several stuff you can do then let's print out the particular stuff is going to be f dot render test render test then the test we want to render is nl p5 cli right perfect so let's add this thing that we have been adding to the top to it so let's use this one here to group it under it perfect so here we're not going to use an argument right because this is not an argument it's going to be using simple stuff there simple option so it's going to be at click dot option and then we're going to pass in something simple about right? so about dash dash no, it's going to be about okay, so let's save it now we have some stuff about it so let's run our stuff here with the help function okay so it's going to give us something about the info here right so let's clear this screen and then let's work on it so it's going to be like this instead of about let's make it as info if i go with info it's going to print the very nice cli for us this nlp5 cli perfect see that that's able to give us our nlp5 app so that is something interesting you can do to make it beautiful okay so wouldn't it be nice if you could do the same order you have been doing so let me copy and paste those stuff so that i'll explain it i just created a function right one function to save it to json now i'm using time right to be able to give it as a name so this is going to be the name of it and i'm using the timestamp as the name to help us create the file to save all those things here and then i imported time and then json to allow us to convert it to json that's the basic stuff there so inside my token i've added a save option right and then i've passed the save here then i have created a function to so keep the person if the if the word and then save is true i want you to save it else if if it's a sentence and save the same thing right the same option so i've added some if conditions to allow it to work in separate format so i've done it for this and i've also done it for that is the basic ones right so you can also apply it for all of them so that is how to work with it so thank you for watching so the basic idea is to just to create to import click import all your nlp packages all the emissionary packages import your nlp packages then you just create a group function here 
right this is going to be a group a click group whereby you're going to pass in all your commands there then you're going to use the same things to remain for the tokens and you've passed in your test inside your test block and analyze it and then you print it out the same thing is being done for our sentiment we are grouping it under main we are passing in our test and then do the same procedure for our part to speech the same option for our entities using spacey so this is what we this space is fast but because it's loading a different package it can become slow and then we also have for word info and then for reading a file so how do we read the file we use a type dot click file to be to read a file so thank you for watching in case you have any question or contribution i just inside the comment section so that i write my better and please don't forget to subscribe stay blessed